Hello and welcome to tutorial for you channel. In this video, I will show you how to set up your own free dedicated Palworld server on your PC. This allows you to play with friends and in case official servers go down, you can still play together. This method doesn't use a third party service, just the power of your computer. So let's get started. Search for Steam CMD. I will provide the link in the description. Once you are on the website, click on Windows to go to the Windows section. From here, click on this number 1 to download it for Windows. Once downloaded, I will extract it on my desktop and move it to a folder called Server. It can be named anything. Here, we will create a text.txt file and rename it as star.batbat file, removing the txt extension. If you are unable to see extension, just go to the view and make sure you have this option ticked. After creating this file, now you have to right click to edit it and paste a command from this website. It is the official Pad World website. I will provide its link in the description. Scroll down to the Windows Steam CMD and copy this command into the start bad file. Then double click to run it to download the server files. After it is installed, to run the server, you just have to navigate to the server folder, Steam Apps, Common, Pal Server folder, and in that, double click Pal Server to run the server. This is one way to run the server. Another way is to copy and paste this command into your start.bat file. Now you can just run the server by your start.bat file, which will also check for available updates. Or you can make two bat files, one for updating and one for starting the server. But our work is not over yet. We have to do some more configuration. Navigate to Steam Apps, Common, and PAL Server folder. Here you will find default PAL Server settings.ini file. If your command stretch out to the left, just go to Format and select World Wrap. Now this is the demo file with the path of the file name PAL World Settings.ini and a bit of command which you have to copy and paste into that file. So we will copy the path and put a slash and paste the path in our address bar which will open the PAL World Settings.ini file. Paste the command in here. Now you can customize server settings like max player, server name, admin password, server password. Make sure the public port is 8211 and leave the public IP as it is. And you can set R con enable to true if you want to run some admin command on your server. Now save it and close it. Close all the file and run the server. You will get a firewall warning which you have to allow. Make sure to check both of these boxes but for some reason if you haven't checked or have closed this window, you can search for Windows Defender Firewall and open it. Click on this option. Now from this list find PAL Server. Click on Change Settings and check both of these boxes and then click OK. If you have any other antivirus, you have to do the same. You can also go to Advanced Settings. Click on Inbound Rule. Under Action, click on New Rule. Select Port. Click Next. Then select UDP and in the specific port, enter these port numbers. Then click Next. Leave this setting as they are. Then click Next. Also leave this setting as they are. Click Next. Then give this rule a name and click Finish. If you are the one connecting to some other server, you have to do the same and make an outbound rule. Now open the game, go to join multiplayer game. You will see your IP and 8211 port. Just click on connect to connect to your server. Also people on the same network can also connect to your server by adding your IP and the port. You can use ipconfig in command prompt to find your IP and add 8211 port with it. Now people on the same network can connect to your server but for people on the internet you just have to do one thing called port forwarding. This is a setting done on your router portal which will be different for everyone and it will be very difficult for me to make a tutorial on each router. For that I will share this website which provides a list of router. Just scroll down and select the company of your router. Then from this list select the model number for your router which will be on the back of the router. You will get a complete guide on how to do port forwarding with pictures of your specific router. The process will be the same as the firewall. You have to open the port like 8211 and some other port which we mentioned before on your network portal. After doing this step, your Palworld server is set up for local and online play. Share your external IP with friends for online connection. You can search for what's my IP 
and get your external IP. They have to enter it with the port to connect to the server. They also have to do outbound settings which we have discussed earlier. Remember to keep the server running for others to join. If you close this window, your server will stop. So there you have it. That's how you set up your own free dedicated Palworld server. Let me know in the comments if this method worked for you. If it did, please give this video a like. And if you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Have a nice day.